My name is Nara Patel. I'm a bioengineering pre-medical student. My, the project title is High Resolution Imaging of Reconstituted Membrane Proteins Using Atomic Force Micros Microscopy. My advisor is Dr. Ratnesh Lal from the Nanobiosensors and Devices Lab. My project focuses on the application of atomic force microscopy, AFM, in studying reconstituted membrane proteins. My primary objective of this summer study was to use different methods to develop supported lipid bilayers for efficient and reliable AFM study. The first technique that I used was liposome deposition where I formed liposomes, small vesicles, out of phospholipid solution and deposited onto mica to develop a large lipid bilayer as seen right here. Um, the second technique that I used was using Langmuir blodgett films, LB films, LB films. I deposited phospholipids onto a water trough and coated the surface uh, with a monolayer of phospholipids. I used barriers to compress it to a certain surface area and deposit it onto a mica by dipping the mica in and out of this monolayer. So using these two different types of bilayers, I used atomic force microscopy to study and characterize the bilayers. Atomic force microscopy images a sample by mapping the localized physical interactions between a probe and a sample. So using this technique, I characterized various lipid bilayers to obtain different samples. Um, some samples had large areas that simply had lots of tiny patches. They simply weren't useful because you cannot have an adequate area to zoom in on. Other areas provided large areas that were relatively bumpy and would not provide a suitable surface. However, by s continuously studying and varying different conditions, I concluded that at a surface pressure of 25 millinewtons per meter, you could obtain a large, uh, relatively flat area for suitable AFM imaging as shown here. Now, this this is really interesting because you can apply this to studying membrane proteins. If you inject membrane proteins, if the protein can insert itself into a lipid bilayer, you can actually obtain the surface map of that protein and study how that surface changes under various conditions. For instance, you can study uh, bacteria rhodopsin and see how the channel f forms. <laughs> this project is really interesting because you can it applies AFM to obtain high resolution images of membrane proteins so that you can study how that changes according to different conditions. Now this is very useful because various conditions have abnormal membrane proteins and this technique and this study would help further uh, our understanding of abnormal proteins and their functions. Um, the best part of, uh, my, uh, of this summer project is realizing and being able to visually see these membrane proteins, it's different from understanding how the structure is supposed to be and actually seeing it. Just being able to see it in the AFM images, is, it just enhances one's knowledge and provides a new perspective to one's work. So once you see the image, you're not simply mixing chemicals anymore. You're actually doing something important and very interesting. Um, I'd like to acknowledge CalIT2 and uh, Dr. Lal and, and the members of his lab. Thank you.